At this time, if all the kids want to gather at the door. My name is George Marshall. I'm one of the elders here, and I'm going to be uh, doing our pastoral prayer this uh, uh, this morning. Um, I'm going to. Our prayer is going to come from Psalm 25. If you want to look it up, it's the 25th of July. We're going to read Psalm 25. It nicely works with what we're dealing with today. So let's pray. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. Let me not be put to shame. Let not my enemies exalt over me. Indeed, none who wait for you shall be put to shame. They shall be ashamed who are wantonly treacherous. Make me to know your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me. For you are the God of my salvation. For you I wait all the day long. Father, we thank you for your, your providence. We thank you for your sovereign, eternal care for your people. God, we don't deserve, but you love and show kindness anyway. Remember your mercy, O Lord, and your steadfast love, for they have been from old. Remember not the sins of my youth or my transgressions. According to your steadfast love, remember me for the sake of your goodness, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord, therefore he instructs sinners in the way. He leads the humble in what is right and teaches the humble his way. All the paths of the Lord are steadfast love and faithfulness for those who keep his covenant and his testimonies. For your name's sake, O Lord, pardon my guilt, for it's great. Who is the man who fears the Lord? Him will be in... <laughs> Him will he instruct in the way that he should choose. His soul shall abide in well-being, and his offspring shall inherit the land. The friendship of the Lord is for those who fear him, and he makes known to them his covenant. My eyes are ever toward the Lord, for he will pluck my feet out of the net. Father, we trust you um, as faithful. And we ask you to help us to follow you in holiness. God, make us aware of our sin, the sin that we easily latch on to, the sin that makes us comfortable, the sin that makes us look inward. God, the sin that keeps us from community with your people, the sin that keeps us from community with you. God, we pray that you help us to have new eyes coming from a new heart that your spirit is working in every day. Turn to me and be gracious to me, for I am lonely and afflicted. The troubles of my heart are enlarged. Bring me out of my distresses. Consider my affliction and my trouble and forgive all my sins. Consider how many are my foes, as with what violent hatred they hate me. O oh, guard my soul and deliver me. Let me not be put to shame, for I take refuge in you. May integrity and uprightness preserve me, for I wait for you. Redeem Israel, O oh God out of all his troubles. Father, redeem your people. God, make us passionate to spread your word. Not just us, but all the churches in this area, Father, that seek to share the message of your love, your sacrifice, your son who was infinitely worthy um, of all honor and glory and power coming down to sacrifice himself for us. God, make us impassioned, outspoken ambassadors of your kingdom. God, we thank you for this time this morning that we can offer just a little bit of praise back to you, that we can turn our hearts to your word, uh, that we can remind ourselves that we are part of a people, a people that you have called out of all time uh, to reflect and, and represent you. God, make us holy as you're holy. In Jesus' name, amen. 